5, Friday, January 14, 2022. Please note the event actually happened from Friday the 16th of July till Monday the 19th of July, 2021. However, Westmead Public Hospital Original Medical Report is dated the 30th of July, 2021, sent to my two GPs, Dr. Peter Wong and Dr. Lawrence Lay. In my hands I have another cooked up half-baked version of the document, both of them fraudulent, fake, lying by omission and commission. The original version titled Older People's Mental Health Medical Report, all things considered in the proper context, because I have complained about bad deadly hospital practice, was bastardized, bullied, intimidated apparently treading on lots of toes this fraudulent document, would have to have been intentionally sent to my two personal, treating doctors, GPs, Westmead Public Hospital Sydney deviously planting the seed, suggestion with the intent to deceive them both, a dangerous misrepresentation to distort my cancer treatment. It's not the dumb blonde's mistake, sitting at the front counter, no good blaming someone else the usual trick, find a fool guy. It appears that Westmead Public Hospital intentionally did not send me copies, hidden from my eyes. I obtained the original document from Dr. Peter Wong and Dr. Lawrence Lay. With a helpful hospital employee I obtained the shocking completely changed tailor-made alteration of the original document. There are glaring omissions by a commission in both the original and the so-called modified version is obviously not the case, conveniently massively changed making it unrecognizable after my written complaints that are on YouTube. I note the movies have been blocked in Australia, only, after unsubstantiated flagged defamation complaints, I note the plain ugly truth is not defamation in Australia. Both of the medical reports failed to even mention most important matters, on how I was kidnapped from my home, more on that later, taken against my will. Fails to mention that I was shackled for four hours to a steel-framed, emergency hospital bed. I was laying flat on my back, no pillow on concrete, both wrists and ankles shackled for four hours, unattended left for dead in Westmead Public Hospital Emergency Department. I could not move for four hours on my back. With cancer in both lungs left there for dead by Dr. Sanampreet Rajput, who subjected me to unwarranted procedure, brain body scanning and to intensive written and verbal psychiatric testing. Dr. Rajput told me if you do the procedure, you will be out of here in 15 minutes. Dr. Sunny asked me why I was sleeping during the daytime and not at night. I said to him I am working on a legal project. He said what is the project about? I said it is private and confidential none of your business. He looked stunned. Sonny left it at that. Dr. Rajput, psychiatric nurse Annabel Della Riva, led the shackling, torture. There's another doctor involved. Sonny these people were inappropriately making phone calls to my frightened carer inside my house. I have a silent number. Questioning her on the phone and they had private numbers they gave false names. David and Jessica Sonny provided his first name they were attempting to blame. Bullied my carer. Furthermore my worried carer waited outside in the emergency department waiting room. The other side of the wall where I was being tortured shackled in the same offenders mentioned blocked my carer from seeing me in that barbaric state. Shackled she would have been outraged like anyone would be. After a lot of argument, using the usual COVID excuses to suit their agenda, the female nurse at the front counter emergency made a concession. 
wrap up the phone using paper then she would pass on my mobile phone to me. She probably went to crowded Woolies and Coles grocery COVID shopping after that however the cruel medical professionals who had shackled me left the phone where I could not see it. My phone would not stop ringing. While I was shackled both wrists and bone both ankles on my back four hours again. It was like lying flat. No pillow on a concrete floor hard to breathe. No water it's terrible worst experience of my life. These dangerous offenders must be brought to justice now. I note in their fraudulent medical report falsely claimed, lied, typed in an altercation occurred. They told me your carer is frightened. She does not want you to go home tonight. I note my carer saw the strong healthy young ambulance officer was seen in the emergency department area, not a scratch on him, who alleges in the media report falsely claims and I quote that I punched. Him is incorrect. Does not say whereabouts he was punched, because it did not happen. When having an warranted procedure, after intensive psychiatric testing, Sonny said why did you take a swing at the paramedic who brought you here? Sonny never said why did you punch him? Obviously a swing is not a punch. The paramedic was in my face personal space saying can I help you up? I said no get way. Over 12 months ago, I was given a short time to live. Months, I should be dead according to those medical experts' advice. Peddling their mustard gas chemotherapy thanked God I did not take that advice. These so-called frontliners at Westmead Public Hospital and this how they treated me. I am not the only dying aged person being abused. It is the hospital norm. Unaccountable, they lie many die. Duplicitous. General Manager Rebecca Tyson calls that care and compassion, like Hellich's, bullying New South Wales Health and Research Minister Brad Hazard, Gladys Berejiklian, Dominic Perrottet why in hell are they aggressively covering up for the perpetrators, offences most probably breaching the New South Wales Crimes Act 1940.